Miyagi. Welcome to DC, John Wall. Nasty play by Wall. Throws it up and in. The best point guard in the NBA. Me. Guys, take a look at this first play when he was playing in the Rising Stars game. Now, obviously the two sides weren't playing much defense here, but I can say that nobody was anticipating a behind the back dunk out of nowhere like this from Wall. Talk about a way to get your name known in the league. And Wall's been known for a lot of different things, including having stellar vision on the court, which has resulted in some insane passes. Here, he's able to play some great defense before snagging a rebound and flying down the court on a fast break. That's when he just easily flicked a cross-body pass with ease over to a wide-open teammate. But that wasn't all. Wall followed it up later in the game by leading a fast break and dishing it out to a teammate between the legs for another two points. The Oklahoma City Thunder just couldn't do anything about this guy that night. He was tossing it all over the place. But instead of tossing it around, here he's spinning around for this next play. The Wizards had a nice fast break down the court that got stalled out. As Washington got set on offense, Wall flew down the court, caught a pass in stride, and spun around Matt Barnes at full speed before finishing the play with a layup at the cup. The layup and the spin were all in the same motion, so it just made it that much more impressive. Speaking of impressive, Wall has had some stellar game-saving plays throughout his career. With the Wizards tied with the Toronto Raptors, it was looking like Kyle Lowry found an opening in the defense and was about to end the game. That's when Wall came out of nowhere like John Cena and swatted it down like it was nothing to send it into double overtime. Lowry didn't even stand a chance on this play. Unfortunately though, you can't always shock the world in a good way. For instance, let me just say that it's great that Wall is good at basketball. He certainly doesn't have a career in baseball in him though. Just watch him throw the first pitch in this game, one that went as bad as you could ever imagine it could have gone. Okay, let's get back to the basketball now. Wall was able to read the Los Angeles Lakers like a book on this play. He intercepted a pass in full stride like he was a cornerback in the NFL. And that's when he found himself with no defenders anywhere near him on the other end. So what do you do in this situation? Well, you rise up and hit a 360 dunk in front of everybody to get your fans hyped. And get it right back. Steal. Wall will go all the way. Careful, careful. The degree of difficulty of this dunk in a real game situation is insane, yet he made it look so easy that you're almost expecting everybody to be doing this on fast breaks. Wall also made this next dunk look even easier, and this one had a defender right in front of him. John easily crossed over his defender out on the perimeter, driving past him with so much ease that you'd think nobody was even near him. That's when he met up with the Detroit center at the rim, and man, did it not go well for that dude. Wall levitated through the sky and hammered it down all over Greg Monroe. Now, if I'm a Pistons fan in the arena, I'm probably just going to stay quiet. There's not much for me to say here. Dunking just seems to be John Wall's thing, and it's something he's done pretty well over his career. Here, he participated in the NBA dunk contest and launched over a mascot holding the ball to go up and under for a crazy dunk. Don't worry though, he wasn't rigged out of his points like Aaron Gordon was here. Wall went home that night being named the Sprite Slam Dunker of the Night. I guess that's some solid compensation. Wall didn't need compensation for this next one though. He walked up the court to scout out the New York Knicks defense before activating a speed boost down the lane and in between multiple defenders. Even when you thought he had nowhere left to maneuver with the ball, he hit a spin in midair to capitalize on the drive before ending the play with a layup. No one in the arena was expecting that move to be coming their way, which made it that much more shocking. And shocking is the best way to describe the time when John Wall obliterated Steph Curry at the rim. Curry thought he had a nice open fast break layup on his hands, but was instantly swatted away hard off the backboard by Wall, who seemingly came out of nowhere to make the play. Everybody always talks about how Wall is one of the fastest players in the league when healthy, and this chase down denial off the backboard on one of the league's best players is a great showing of that. Hey, before we move on to this next moment, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. 
Anyways, let's get right back into the action. Now, we've already seen Wall hit a few wild layups, but we haven't seen something like this one just yet. Moving through multiple defenders like he usually does, Wall went behind the back on a dribble move during his drive without losing any of his momentum. As you can imagine, he cruised past defenders and capped it off with a layup. What's even crazier about this play is that you can pause it towards the end and you'll see all five defenders on the court surrounding him, but it still didn't matter. These types of things are just what we grew to expect from Wall, including his wild work ethic and incredible hustle. When Kyrie Irving was letting the ball roll up the court, everybody was just kind of letting it happen. But that's when John was literally pretending not to be paying attention to it. All of a sudden, he dove on the ball and called a timeout so nobody could grab it away from him and the clock would stop instantly to give his team a shot of their own. Ironically, Irving did the same thing here that LeBron James did with the Los Angeles Lakers not too long ago, just letting the ball roll a little too long. But the ball didn't roll at all here. Wall tipped a pass away from its intended target and realized it was going out. That's when he full-on dove into the fifth row of the stands in order to save it and keep it in play. Wall throws it up, trying to save it, goes into the crowd after a little body surfing. But like, Seriously, how in the world was he able to get above five rows deep into that crowd? Thankfully, he didn't have to hurdle over random pedestrians in this next one. All he had to do instead was line up for a go-ahead late game three against the Boston Celtics in the playoffs with his team down by two. Wall didn't rush it and simply walked up to send the Celtics home. In case you didn't catch it, the Wizards were also down three games to two in the series, meaning if he doesn't hit this shot, they were the ones going home. A shocking moment for Washington and Boston alike. Remember that insane layup he put together earlier? Well, this one's just as crazy, but the smoothness is all there just the same. In a fast break, Wall received a pass sprinting towards the paint and quickly hit a spin in the air to finish it off with a layup. Check it out. Peel gets the steal. Finds Wall, spins off the glass and in! That was just another circus shot in his collection. Just like this next one, Wall picked up a nice steal in the middle of a play and flew down the court with just one defender left standing in front of him. He was fouled hard when going up for the layup, but that didn't stop him. As he started to flail onto the ground, he flipped the ball all the way up and over himself to somehow get it to drop. I just know the coach on the other team wasn't happy about taking the foul and still giving up those points. Oh, and did I just mention points? Well, yeah, John Wall scored a lot of those in this Game 6 performance against the Boston Celtics. Wall only put up three points in the first half of a win-or-go-home situation, but he knew that was not how he wanted his season to end. He burst out in the second half and dropped 23 points to help his team win. And finally, we come to the last shocking moment of his career, the time when he had eyes in the back of his head by dishing out a career-high 19 assists in just one game against the Golden State Warriors. Wall was literally the entire offense at this point for Washington, swinging it around like it was a paperweight. Underneath oh, Portet with a great oh, pass from Wall. A truly outstanding performance. Hey, that does it for this video on the times John Wall has shocked the world. Let us know down below what moments were your favorites and the top comment is going to get pinned. Also, if you care to check out more of our content, go ahead and click on the video that appears on your screen right now.